cooking up lasagna here, huh? Yeah, yeah. we're gonna just have some lasagna. Who are who are we with? This Alice. Is Alice. 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 And Laurel. And you're in charge of basically putting the May breakfast together at the church? Yes. Well, Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're co-chairing uh, for the Women's Guild of St. Andrews. And um, well, you, you know more about the history of... Well, not really. But, uh, you know, I know that uh, Victoria Danberg, Mrs. Danberg's... Um, Victoria Danberg, her mother, started it more than 50 years ago. Oh, my God. And uh, she did it because... Um, there, we had a lot in our town of Edgartown. We had the market, we had the post office, we had the barber shop. I mean, it was all working people, the banks. We had everybody worked in town. And this is 50 years ago. 50 years ago. I love it. Yeah. And so she wanted to do something to help the working people, you know, and have a made breakfast. So she fed them. Right. They came in and she fed and them. And that's how it all started. And that's how it started. Yeah. It's gotten bigger. Last year we had a great turnout. Yeah. And it's kind of morphed into a, um, well, a fundraiser. And what they, you know, even 20 years ago, when there was all the building going on down in Town, and, you know, they would, um, all the tradespeople would come in. And the right, right, and right, the right, right. And hairdressers and your neighbor. Of and, nice big breakfast before yeah, they started their exactly. day. Well, and it was nice because after oh, a long winter. Oh, for charity. A uh, how long can winter, you? Know. you know, everybody, you hadn't seen anybody. And right. so you get together and you catch up and then you... Nice. You know, raise so money for yeah. island charities nice. and go nice. to work. Go to work. And, and tickets can be purchased tickets at the can, church and can be purchased at the church. Um, also, uh, yeah, if you call the office. Can you get them at the door on the day, or is that you too can, late? No, you can get them. Okay. The day now. So you can just and swing on by and, and pick tickets up. Yep. Yeah. No. Friday morning when you get and it opens up at. It opens at seven. At seven, seven to nine. O'clock. And and some people worry because it's we're still holding it during the week that they can't get to work by nine. But um, Chris White, who is a long-standing member of St. Andrews, oh, she also from Agartown Pizza. Yeah. pizza. Oh she yes. Exercise. Oh so nice. So if you need to get to work by you know. Pop the top gun. You can do a little cooking with no, this life. She, she can get you in and out. Of, I mean, she'll get you in and out. Oh, I like this a, idea. You'll get a nice homemade meal. And we've got, um, we're going to be serving Morning Glory um, Farm Fresh Eggs. From what I understand, Morning yeah. Glory donated all yes. the eggs yeah. for the May yes, breakfast. Yeah. Now, how can you beat nice? that? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's and then we're going to have all They're homemade, very good people. All homemade, homemade food, uh, the muffins. muffins Alice is making her homemade Nice. Some of the other women will be making muffins and um, biscuits, buttermilk biscuits. Oh my God, this sounds good. Yeah. When's the lasagna done, done Father? <laughs> I'm getting now. hungry. Yeah. <laughs> but now Father Chip's going to be there also. Yeah. And he's going to be serving coffee. Do you know that? I told you that. Yes, right? I do. Yes, yeah, so he'll be mingling. With the <laughs> you got thrown right into the coffee servant. <laughs> oh, and my Love friend, it. my good friend Alan Ganapol, um, he's going to be um, providing live music. Okay, so nice. This is good. Nice. And he really, plays, what's he play for instrument? He plays, uh, he's going to be acoustic guitar. Nice. And, um, and listen, it's open to everybody. It's, you know, you don't have to go to St. Andrews. Anybody on the island can come. We'd like everybody to. Come one, come, come, come off. Come on, come off. And it all benefits and the island, and it's all for charity. Yeah. And it's all different charities, not just one. No, not just one. Exactly. That's, it yeah. stays on the island. This is awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. And you'll be in there flipping some eggs. And I'm going to jump right in. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come in, flip some eggs. <laughs> That'll be fun. Taste some of the homemade muffins, yeah. and I like this idea. So We're excited about it. So. This would be my first time, too. Everybody come if you can make it. I'll help Father Chip dish out some coffee. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. So, all right. Well, you all enjoy well thank your you lasagna. for filling everybody out yeah. there. Thank you. It sounds like a great event. I can't wait for it. Yeah, well, just less than four weeks, right? Yeah. Four weeks from yesterday. Yeah. Four weeks from now on this beautiful island of Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Right. Friday, May 7th, 7 to 9 in the morning. Seven Come before work. Rain or shine. Rain or shine, yeah. yeah. So, all right, you guys, enjoy. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for so stopping much. in and filling sure. us in on the yeah. event. Have fun. Thank you so much. Right, bye. Take care now. Bye-bye now. Well, now we're great. browning right up. I'm going to get right back to Dyson. Yeah. You can see I mixed the sausage in with the hamburger. And we're just mixing it as best we can. I like to try to really try to break up that sausage to be a little easier after it gets yep, cooked a little yep, bit. Yep, cooking it up slow. I'm yeah, going to finish dicing over here. He's got the onions and peppers. Now, do you want these to go right in with the burger? Or are you going to do these up separately? Yeah, no, eventually they'll go right in. They're going to go right we're in. We're going to make the sauce all together there. Okay. And that'll be part of that. So 
So that's that. We got the water starting to heat. And uh, okay, ground beef, one clove of garlic minced. You got any uh, special way to mince up a clove of garlic? Sure, I'll, I'll cut it right up. Let me get the onion. In fact, I'll do that right next. Let me slide this over. There we go. I'll slide this right over. Make it two and be, be naughty. Yeah, go with two. So go I'm with thinking. two. We'll clean the blood system right out. I'm not sure what I think about it, but I think the older you get, the more you like garlic. Yes, well, I knew a, an older gentleman years ago, and he was in his 90s, and he would have a glass of red wine every morning, and he would have garlics throughout the day. And he, he, I mean, he didn't he, like an apple? That man would get right out and ride a bicycle. He'd get right out and ride a bicycle, though. He, he swore that the garlic kept him going. Yeah. 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 Good well, they say it keeps the vampires away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love it. Keeps everybody away. Keeps everybody away. <laughs> Actually, if you give it to your dog, the fleas leave. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's pretty good. I love it. All right, so he's got the Ooh, garlic. Oh, nice garlic. That smells good, Father. That smells really good. We just look at Got a nice fresh one today. All right, so here's what it says. Brown the meat in the skillet. Drain off excess fat. We will do that. Uh, and then add garlic, salt. Uh, simmer three to five minutes. Stir in the sauce and tomato paste. Get that going here. This is browning up really nice over here. Really nice. Now, did you? Did you I, I missed it. You put? Did you put that in some oil? No, I just browned it right up without any oil. Just threw it right in there, and it's 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 in its own oils it's actually. Its own oils. Yep. Yep. Now Get that garlic all ground up there, nice. Oh yeah. We're going to be filming, uh, actually, Monday, two days from now, at the wow. PA Club. Oh, great. And, yeah, we, we've been having a lot of fun filming down at the PA Club down in Oak Bluffs. Yeah. And uh, basically what we're trying to do there is, is all, uh, all the proceeds are going to Island uh, Food Pantry. Wonderful. Right here on the island. So that's another, and it's just starting to come together. People are starting to come down. It, you know, they, they, they get to be on the TV, they get to eat. We yeah. have a ball. We do. Oh, we have a lot of fun. Well, do you it's, have one of those already done on YouTube? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. We I think we've done four or five shows at the PA Club throughout the winter. Yeah. We're going to be doing them every month. Mm -hmm. Forever, the and way I look at it. <laughs> we do it the second We do it the second Monday of every month, and tickets can be purchased for that down to PA Club. Great. And I think, that, I think they're getting like $20. You come in, you eat, you're on TV, and... You know, Those everybody has costs. a good time, and yeah, and then proceeds, you know, help pay for the food and whatnot, and then the, the balance goes to, uh, is, is, you know, getting set up for the charities, it, and the big charity for me is the Island Food Pantry. Yeah, yeah. That's the big one for it's me. a good one. Well worth it. It's got to be very hard to be hungry. Yeah, especially in these times. Yeah. Let's face it, our economy sucks. It's bad. It really, it really does. It really is. Yeah. A lot of people hurting out there. I see them. Yep. They come visit. They need some pastoral care and sometimes some assistance. And, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, I know Armin down there does a great job with it. He makes sure all the clergy on the island have uh, stop and shop gift cards for those people who uh, need something in a pinch. Oh, that's nice. And uh, I'm, I'm very uh, proud to be able to say we're, we're able to offer those to people who need. So. Um, that's, that's awesome. You can't beat that. And I talked to somebody the other day about the food pantry, too. And I said, well, is it closed during the summer? Because she works there. And, you know, she helps some volunteers down there. And she said, a lot of people think it's closed during the summer, but if you really need something... Um, it's not you, closed. If you call down there, they'll, they'll take care of you over the summertime, too. Yep. Things, I guess, here on the island aren't so lean necessarily in the summertime by way of jobs and money, but no. I know people still have problems. One of my big things is you people out there is you're, you're in the Stop and Shop, for instance, here on island, and they're big. Stop and Shop is huge on helping helping the hungry, yeah. you know, and, and everywhere basically where Stop and Shop is on the coast. Mm -hmm. They have a box in there, hamburger, helper, tuna fish, anything, anything, just throw it in there. You're helping feed hungry kids, you know, that's, and it's huge. Yep. Yep. So I got this meat ground up and I'm going to pour off the fat on that. Okay. I'll get the hot water going so I don't do any pipe clogging unnecessarily. So. Right, and this is almost ready for you too. I just got to finish dicing up the onion. I'm doing this the easy way. I, I, I put slices in the onion and just chop them up a little bit, and they're yeah. going to break up, cook up real nice. I, I, you know, I hope they're small enough for you. This way, Papa Tuck usually does it. I like it. There you go. 
that right there. I'll slide this back over here. All right.